All right, here's a guy you're gonna hear an awful lot about, okay? He smokes in bed, face down. <laughs> but I'll tell you, in this thing called showbiz, he's one of the guys who's coming up real fast. He's really great. Jerry Seinfeld, all right? Here we go. Right Thank you very much, thank you. Well, this is it, huh? This is your night, you're out, you're making it happen. New York City, this is where I'm from, and uh, to me the most amazing thing about when you go out in this city, you know, you go to a show like this and you're with your friends and you talk and maybe you have a good time, maybe you don't. The most amazing thing that happens to you on a night like this is the ride that you have in the cab. You know, isn't it incredible the chances that these guys take with your life and that you're so calm in the back seat, you know, because they got that glass Partition, and you're just watching them. It's like it's happening on television, you know? He's, you know, he's flying around the road, and you're going, boy, that looked dangerous. I don't think I'd try that in my car. That was an, almost an eight-car pileup. Did you watch what happened on that last turn? Then you're five minutes late, you start rooting for the guy. He's up on the sidewalk, you're going, this is a good move. He killed a guy, I'm on time. <laughs> And they always have those, no smoking, please, no smoking. He's very concerned about his health, these guys. Doing 90 up a one way. He's just, please, please don't smoke. Very sensitive here, lungs, are very throat, you know. The dumbest thing of all you can think in a New York taxi cab is, well, the man knows what he's doing. <laughs> have you ever thought of that? He's a professional cab driver. He's got a cab driver's license. I can see it right there. I don't even know what it takes to get a cab driver's license. I think all you need is a face. <laughs> this seems to be their big qualification. And a name with like eight consonants in a row. Have you ever checked out some of the letters in those names on the license? The O with the line through it? What planet is that from? You need a chart of the elements just to report the guy. Yes, officer, his name was Amal, and then the symbol for Boron. So I'm from Long Island, parents live on Long Island, uh, 30 years, something like that. Thank you. Please. Thank you, that's, that's way too much applause, really. It's just, it's... My folks moved to Florida this past year. They didn't really want to move to Florida, but they're in their 60s, and that's the law. <laughs> You're not living in Florida by a certain age, they come and get you. They force you down here, they have cops, leisure police. They have people in golf carts with shorts, and they just jump out. Get the golf clubs, get in the back, Pops, come on. Drop the snow shovel, kick it over here, drop it! Put the mittens down, Mom. Hey, take it easy. So I'm down there in Florida. Unbelievable. My mother's into this whole thing with walls now. She's, I don't know. How do they get interested in walls? What do you think of this wall? I don't know. To me, if it's forcing you to use the door to get out of the room, it's working, you know? It's, it's maybe a floral pattern or something. So she put up mirrors. She, ended, she decided on mirrors. From the floor to the ceiling, we have a huge mirror now in the living room, which my mother feels gives you a feeling of space. Have you heard this? That it makes it seem like you have an entire other room. Now, what kind of a jerk walks up to a mirror and goes, hey, look, there's a whole other room in there. There's a guy in there, looks just like me. I don't know who's falling for this. I had a parakeet, he used to fall for it. You ever let your parakeet out of their cage? They fly across the room. <coughs> Right into the mirror with that little parakeet head. There's no padding. It's straight back the way they do their hair. He can't take much impact. He would hit that mirror, bang, and he would fly off in some other direction trying to get it together. I always thought, he's so stupid. Plus, even if he thought the mirror was another room, you would think he'd at least try and avoid hitting the other parakeet. <laughs> I don't know how bright you have to be to even qualify as a parakeet. I think it's a two-question test. Can you fly? Is your head smooth? You're a parakeet. <laughs> Get your wings next. So, so I gotta go home. I gotta take a shower. I'm not dirty, but I need that break. Shower is the only break you get, isn't it? 
When you're asleep, people can bother you. They call you. When you're in the shower, they can't get to you. They call up on the phone. I'm sorry, we can't reach him. He's in the shower. There's nothing anyone can do. He's five feet away. We can't talk to him. We can't get a message. We can't do anything. Can you come out? I can't talk now. I just got out. I just got out of the shower. I was naked, singing, rubbing myself all over. I have to readjust to reality here. Now they got that shower radio. There's a dynamite item there. Got soap in your eye. You need the traffic report right then. Music, no, nothing better to have in the shower. No better place to dance than a slick surface next to a glass door. <laughs> See, to me, the whole idea of being in the shower is nothing matters when you're in there. That's what I like about it. Unless, of course, someone flushes the toilet, which matters a great deal when you're in the shower. <laughs> you know, you touch that little handle, you change the whole person's life there. There's nothing they can do about it. They're just down the hall and you just stand there. <laughs> you just hear them screaming. <laughs> it's got a lot of control. I don't like other people's showers. There's always a problem with temperature adjustment. There's always a little hair stuck on the wall. And you want to get rid of it, but you don't want to touch it. I don't know how it got up that high in the first place. Maybe it's got a life of its own. I don't want to get involved. You know what I mean? So you have to, so you have to aim the shower head at the hair. That never works. You gotta get a pool of water from under the shower and over to the hair. Get it down a foot at a time. And the hair, it doesn't even want to go down. It's like fighting to survive there. Now we have to fight these battles. We're all alone in the bathroom. Alone! Whatever goes wrong, you have to handle it. You ever flush the toilet in a big party and the water starts coming up? <laughs> this is the most frightening moment in the life of a human being. You'll do anything to stop this. You'll lose your mind, start talking to the toilet. No, please don't do this to me, please. You gotta give me a break, there's a lot of people here. I'll get you the blue thing, it makes the water blue. Just give me this one chance. You've been very nice, thank you very much. Jerry Seinfeld, the great. Say goodbye, Jerry. How are you? Dynamite. Dynamite, all right.